Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning again, hope you're all doing good. It's an exciting day today, I'm going to take a few parts off the marine headlands, I'm going to get it dialed in just the way I like it. Um, but also, whilst doing that, we're going to simultaneously be fixing this one down here as well, see? Look down there. So that one's going to be 700C and this one is going to be 650s. That is the plan today. So I do have two sets of wheels, pretty much identical apart from the size. The 700Cs are going to go on the orange and blue, like I said, and these 650s are going to go on the new one with the dropper post. But honestly, look at the state. Can you see this? Look at the state of them. Honestly, filthy. Take the discs off, uh, switch them over, and then we're going to come back and um, begin the transformation. I'm proper excited. It's going to look wicked. Hey, we could go for a mullet. What do you reckon? Like. 650 at the back, 700 in the front, is that weird? Anyway, that's not what we're going to do today. I'm going to go and clean these wheels and I'll come back in a second. So, catch you in a second. Boop. Right, so the wheels are all cleaned. I need to get these old ones off, put the discs on here. So I'll be using the wide range E13 cassette on the rear. I did order a 100 mil stem, but it hasn't turned up yet. So I have a 90 mil stem, I have a 110 mil stem. I think I'm gonna put the 90 on, which is like two centimeters longer than the current 70 mil stem on there. I also wanna change the saddle. I think that's pretty much it. So new wheels, new stem, saddle. Oh, and I think we should tape the bars because you guys made a good decision you kind of picked the one that I'd have gone for, so we're gonna put some new bar tape on as well. Really quickly, we'll slap these wheels on my other frame, so I have a 700C frame set up and a 650. You know? Quite exciting. Right, anyway, enough waffling. You know, I struggle so bad with getting bars in the middle, like my wheel aligned, so like, I have to get the cross thing so I can see it through there and then kind of, after oh, it's too tight, and then tilt the bars down and hope that it stays in the same place. It does look much, much, much nicer with a longer stem. It also helps out the cable management. There are quite a few long cables up here. I did actually cut down my dropper post because, well, the cable like came all the way here and it was just far too long, so I, um, I chopped a little bit off to make it a little bit cleaner. I did contemplate actually running a longer stem on the 700C and a shorter one on the 650s, but like, I mean, my feeling was that like, if I'm running 700s, I might want to be in like a more long, like fast position. But in reality, my torso doesn't grow and my arms don't get longer because my wheel size changes. Anyway, what do you reckon? Looks a bit cleaner, right, with a longer stem. Right, next thing is the wheels. Right, so we're going to switch this out. I do actually need to change these discs, so bear with me a second. I'm going to do the very long process. Like, honestly, six bolt discs feel like so annoying and long winded compared to center lock. So give me one second. We're going to magically take these off. Because these discs are not actually center lock, there's an adapter. You get this little bit here, and that works as the six bolt, and it also works as a center lock. And that simply slots on the wheel. Like so, you see? And then you have like the lock ring thing. And that holds it on. So you can use six bolt discs on a center lock hub, but you cannot do it the other way around. So like, let's tighten this up really quickly. That's the wheels all set up. Let's get them on the bikes. All right, so moment of truth. Needs to do a little bit of tweaking, but let's check if this actually works with this cassette. It's looking good. Well, I think that seems to be working very nicely indeed. I'm quite pleased. So that's new wheels on, discs changed, gear set up. It seems like there's not too much like overstretching of the chain when I'm on my easiest gear. So we still need to change the saddle and then take the bars and then we can crack on with the next one. And then I'll have two mega awesome gravel bikes. Oh my God, these are gonna be Perfect. I'm so excited. Right, let's change the saddle. I probably love these fabric saddles. I do actually have them on all of my bikes. So that is the plan. I'm gonna run that one and then uh, get the bars taped. There we go, nearly done. So what do we reckon so far? I mean, it looks very much like my other bike, but it does have a dropper post. It's got different bars, different crank set. 
I am actually running a slightly heavier gearing than I'd like to at the moment as well. It does have a 42 tooth on, but I do have a wide range at the back, so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see how it is. It might actually be all right the way it is. Right, take the bars. So after spending ages meticulously doing that, I get to the top where I have to make the cut and um, I, I cut it the wrong way. <laughs> so it was nearly really good, but, but now it's messy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I've got loads of old bar tape stuck to my shoe. Um, what do you reckon? Oh, it's quite nice actually. I don't know if it, I don't know if it is clashy. I'm not sure. You know, like one, two, three, go. And then it magically changes, right? Magic! Bloody <laughs> tape stuck everywhere. All complete. I was super stoked. <laughs> so, that's very bright up the front. Well, at least it's not black, and that means people will be able to see me, right? That is full on. Right, let me give you some proper close ups. Here we go. There is the beast. Whoa. What do you reckon? Drop a post, 650 wheels, new bar tape, new saddle. Bosh! Very, very happy indeed with this build. Oh my god, I'm so stoked. Right, now it's time to tackle the next one. Alright, this one is much, much, much quicker because all we're doing is actually changing the wheels. But this bike is filthy. Right, if I'm honest, I definitely, definitely need to put some more sealant in these tyres. But I'm, but, but I'm not going to do that today. We're just going to finish this bloody build. Quick and simple, I don't actually need to realign the disc calipers on these wheels because they both have the same hubs and I've got the same discs that I had on the other ones. So, in theory, the spacing should all be exactly the same. Oh my god, this chain is filthy. That is a pair of lovely bikes. I mean, look at them. Look at them. Why oh, do they look amazing? I'm trying to angle these so you can actually see them both. But look at that. What a pair of absolute stunning bikes. Absolute? I can't even speak. I'm too excited. Now I'm going to put them here. I mean, look at these. Oh my god. Right, I need to just stop filming and actually go and ride one of these now. And now I need to decide which one of them to ride. I think it's gonna have to be the dropper post one today. They're still not completely finished, but for having two identical bikes, one dialed in for like the more aggressive terrain with a dropper post and 650s, and then the other one was 700Cs, a slightly skinnier tire, a little bit more aggressive tread for a bit more grip. That'll be for the fast fun rides. I mean, it's just lots of fun. Fun and fun and fun. And I'm still not sure if that bar saves too much, but I'm kind of digging it at the moment. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I can't wait to ride. Let me know which one you prefer. But remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.